students of five scientists so today 18th of august 2021 they will meet again in our class english class with me miss soleha all right so today we are going to learn about our unit 8 going away but before we proceed with the lesson we are going to watch a video Alright students, so just now we have watched a video and I would say the video is very very beautiful and it's very very um, calming and pleasing to watch because it uh, gives us a real and uh, beautiful cinematic experience and now I would like to ask you do you know the location and the country of the uh, video of the location shown in the video good job the country that uh, was shown in the video just now was Turkey repeat, repeat after me Turkey Turkey good job all right so i'm gonna give a brief detail about turkey okay so turkey is a country which have four seasons and majority of uh, the 
people there is Muslim. Alright, so that is one of the country that might be that might and should be on your uh, bucket list if you want to travel overseas. Alright, so these uh, are the learning objective for today. Okay, uh, number one, write affirmative, negative and interrogative sentences about holiday planning using verb be going to and will with 4 out of 16 correct answers. Number 2, I would like you all to record your voice speaking about the plans uh, but only 5 sentences uh, that you have written with correct pronunciation and with minimal error. Alright, so first and foremost we are going to look at uh, what is affirmative uh, neg and negative sentences okay so uh, affirmative affirmative is uh, a positive form that is used to express validity or truth of a basic assertion while a negative form expresses its falsity which mean affirmative sentences always refer to positive sentences all right while negative always have a negative um, negative statements in the sentence okay so uh, without further ado we're going to look at the example of affirmative and negative sentence okay so for a affirmative we are going to stay in hotel while for negative we are not going to stay in hotel okay so as you all can see here negative contains not okay not word in the sentence so from here i think we you can understand what is the difference between affirmative and negative okay so affirmative is like positive sentence while negative uh, is like a sentence that contains a false uh, false uh, false words okay for example not and more okay so affirmative and negative sentences actually we have learned in our previous video if you um, still remember actually we learned in uh, our first class with me okay I've already um, teach you all what is affirmative and negative sentences all right so next we're going to look at interrogative sentences all right interrogative sentences are sentences used to ask question so interrogative is basically a question okay uh, so the example here is will the weather be cold repeat after me will the weather be cold good job so interrogative basically a sentence i uh, sorry a question okay repeat after me interrogative question interrogative is a question good job so bear in mind that interrogative is simply uh, questions okay so uh, next we are going to look at the verbs that we're going to learn today okay so we're going to focus on two verbs which is the first one is be going to and the second one is be not going to okay so be going to is affirmative form while be not going to is negative form okay so we just learned about affirmative and negative form okay affirmative is always about positivity but negative is always about uh falsity all right so we are now we'll look at we're going to look at the example the first example be going to we are going to stay in hotel so this one is affirmative all right the second example we are not going to stay in hotel so this is a negative form of be not going to because it has not as one of the 
words in this sentence. So, not expresses uh, negative sentences. Alright, so we can know that this is an affirmative because there is no not words in this sentence. While the second one, we are not going to. Okay, so this is negative. The first one is affirmative. The second one is negative. Alright. Number two, will and won't. Will is affirmative while won't is negative. Okay. Now we're going to look at the example. Okay. Will the weather be cold? Interrogative. So, interrogative. Just now, we have mentioned that interrogative is, is a question. Okay? So, now I would like you all to repeat this sentence after me. Will the weather be cold? Good job. Will the weather be cold? So, this is a question. So, a question is interrogative sentences. Okay? A question is interrogative sentence. Good job. So, the answer for this question is no, it won't. Okay? It won't. Won't is negative because won't is the, sh the contraction for will not. Okay? So, won't. Wants is negative because there is not here. Alright. So, we have learned about affirmative and negative sentences, interrogative, the question, and the verb. Be going to, be not going to, will and will not or won't. Okay. So, now we are going to look at the task that you have to complete for today. Alright. So, Turn to page 90 in your English plus 1 book. Okay, and then I would like you all to look at exercise 3, exercise 4 and exercise 5. Okay, look at the instructions uh, for each of the exercises. And I would like you all to complete the work according to the uh, instructions. Alright. And next, after you have completed the exercises, which is exercise 3, exercise 4 and exercise 5, I would like you all to record your voice reading the reading your answers, okay? Uh, I will just want 5 sentences, okay? 2 sentences from exercise 3, 2 sentences from exercise 4, and one question and one answer for exercise 5. Okay? Will that be okay? Okay, so uh, if you don't uh, understand or do you have any question, don't hesitate to directly PM me via Telegram or WhatsApp. Okay? So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you will receive a new and latest information, lesson and more from this channel. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.